government saw the need uh, a number of years ago to develop a, a stronger machine and we've worked on that and produced what you see behind us. Now the capabilities of the machine, it was designed to go to the biggest mines in the world. It can drill up to two kilometres deep at eight metres diameter. It's got up to five million pounds of thrust, so it's well above anything in the market available today. The improvements made to this machine were all taken in from the field, from the drillers, and all the input from the guys. The manufacturer was by uh, Herringnet. Uh, they're well known for large tunnel boring machines. They've built a machine basically to our specifications. Well, safety is paramount at McMahon's, and this machine is ultra safe. They've brought in the automated pipe feeder, as well as it's got the automated wrenching system. The automated wrenching for engaging the rods and, and engaging and locking them in place. No more manual handling there, and that was a big focus from McMahon's from a big safety point of view to reduce all manual handling and remove all together where applicable. The great advantages of this raise drill is that it's run and operated by VF drives. The beauty of the VH drive is that this gives us uh, very, very fine control and speed which is critical when we're, uh, we're threading on to the very expensive rods that we use and the other thing that it does is gives us a consistent makeup, uh, which is also critical in the raise drilling so that we know that all rods are made up to exactly the right torque. The VF drives also allow for ease of rig up and rig down times, the power packs are smaller and less of them and the crawler allows for mobility between sites. Operating on this hole has given us great confidence to be utilised on larger, deeper holes. I like the fact that it's the world's biggest. It's, it's really an honour to, to work on this machine. It's, uh, it's very exciting. Look, this drill has surpassed all our expectations. It's a beauty. Anyone looking for a ventilation or other shaft, four and a half metres plus to a thousand metres of uh, depth, I would suggest would not look past the RBR 900 VF. It's proven here, McMahon saw the need a number of years ago for a machine of this capacity and we've developed it and very, very happy with the result.